Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, September 28th, 2022. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. Two program, programming notes. I, well, the third one is I can't say the word programming. Um, I am dressed up because this is Spirit Week at school, so I'm a famous TV character. And the second is the end of the day bell is going to go off during this video and there's nothing I can do because I am out of time. So Sunday, October 2nd will be our first quarter moon. Looking great if you're out for an evening stroll. The sun's pretty active right now with uh, sunspots in the northern and southern hemisphere. Probably some good auroral activity. The higher latitudes as the nights get longer. And they are very noticeably getting longer. Uh, taking a look at the drought conditions, the eastern plains are the only place that things get a little worse. Nationally, things get worse in the northern Rockies and out in California a little bit. And a little bit of drought in Florida is going to be totally gone really soon. For the rainfall, we didn't get much this week. Some spots got maybe a half inch or so, except down here near the Four Corners and in the northeast where the drought conditions are a little worse, so a little bit of water there helps. This definitely is the last time we look at the climatology of severe weather as we go through April, May, and June. Uh, my last map will be the 1st of October, and we'll shut this down until next year. Fourth week of September and October, just in North Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and a little bit east. For the real severe weather, well, Florida, with uh, Hurricane Ian coming in, we got a uh, chance of thunderstorms in the southwest, third, on Wednesday of Colorado, not quite to Longmont, but it does include Denver, so you should see some convection over that direction. For Thursday, it's more the northern half of the state, and for Friday, the northwest three quarters or so of Colorado. For surface map stuff, yeah, there's our chance of showers to our south on Wednesday. There's the hurricane coming in, battling a cold front that's helping steer it. It kind of arrests the cold front down there. We have little snow chances in the higher elevations. Northwest gets a chance of showers. This is just drenching rain. Uh, hurricane's going to come back out over the ocean and possibly strengthen again. Later we'll see it might even do it again coming off a, a second time. Um, <coughs> here we have showers Friday and some more mountain snow to lower elevations as cooler air comes in aloft. Kind of two stories that we're following here. For smoke it's just going to be uh, smoke free for Wednesday and Friday. There are fires still in the dry parts of the west in other spots in the nation, but none of it is drifting this direction. Our normal high temperatures and low temperatures are dropping quite rapidly now, four degree drop over 10 day period. So expecting 73 at the beginning and only 69 at the end, 43 drops down to 39 for a low. And we're in the norms pretty nicely for the latter part of this uh, section. We have the chance of showers uh, going into Wednesday morning, they're out. We have a couple days of dry. There's our Wednesday, uh, Friday, Saturday chance of showers and our early week chance of showers. The ensembles are just not getting a good grasp on what's going on there. For the water vapor satellite loop, there's the hurricane coming in on Tuesday. There's making uh, landfall, the eye crossing the coast Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday morning for us. Moisture out in the west doesn't tell us as much as it does when we're interested in summer monsoons. So notable weather events this upcoming week. We have this big ridge at the start on Wednesday with the trough coming in in the west. That was Ian making landfall. For Friday, Ian is making a second landfall on South Carolina Georgia border with a trough coming in, cut off low up here kicking off our showers and cooler weather. So there's the showers with the surface low to our southeast, showers in the northern Rockies, hurricane over here going crazy. Maybe it's only a tropical storm at that point. Uh, Saturday we still have showers going on. The uh, system is falling apart in the east. And let's put it in motion. That's kind of the big story. So the ridge gets bashed down by this incoming trough. And that kind of slows down and rotates there for a few days. And we get some chance of showers. And then it starts to move past on Monday, giving us a second or third chance of showers before the ridge reestablishes itself out west. And we have northern flow aloft, keeping temperatures more normal. Looking at temperatures, you see the big cold front that's steering the hurricane down here. Um, 
warmer than normal because of the nighttime clouds, cooler than normal because of the rain in the day. We have warm temperatures here until this cold pool comes in with that cutoff low on Saturday, Sunday. Got some thunderstorms going there. Monday, the trough starts to go by, cooling us off. Another cold front heads down into the northeast. We go to normal-ish weather. All right, let's take a look at the uh, precipitable water. Out in the west, it's kind of there. There's stuff, but the uh, hurricane's coming into the Carolinas and moving out. Nothing really notable there. For our precipitation, we have the front crossing Florida and then moving up into the Carolinas. We have showers out here in Colorado land, just going for about three or four days. So a five day total precipitation, light amounts in the south, about an inch in the northern parts of the state, add five days and a little bit more in the north. So we have 80s now, dropping to the 70s and 60s with our good chance of showers in the weekend and then beginning of next week. There's the hurricane heading up, going back inland. So for frequent weather updates and local news, check out Longmont Leader and BroomfieldLeader.com. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.